Howdy, homesteaders. Uh, today, we're going to get some eggs. Here's a really good homesteading tip is that when you're trying to get your homestead up and running and you know maybe you know everybody's got different things you know some of us we actually live out in the country and a lot of us live in cities you know uh, but you know even if you're living in a city uh, it is still possible to do some level of homesteading it just requires a, a, a little bit of different kind of work uh, now normally if you're a homesteader you buy chickens you raise chickens and they lay eggs and that'll be your source of eggs and really eventually that's where we want to be as well uh, but until then uh, why wait you know why continue to buy eggs in the store uh, why continue to do that uh, well you don't have to uh, you know even uh, living in the city if you drive a couple hours out of town you might be able to find a farmer who is selling eggs and I tell you it's worth the drive so we're getting ready to go pick up our eggs uh, we don't have chickens yet uh, but we have farm fresh eggs that someone else has raised and you know we all need to you know have our little parts so if we were raising chickens for producing eggs one of the smartest things you can do is to sell eggs to help pay for your feed costs so we're doing that for someone else we're actually helping them uh, take care of their chickens by by buying their eggs uh, so they can pay for their feed uh, so it's really important that we do that uh, even if you are raising chickens sometimes uh, you might run out of eggs or run low on eggs and it's good to know a nearby farmer who's selling eggs uh, that you can buy some from them even whenever you're running low uh, but really uh, eggs that you buy in the store don't even compare to the eggs that you get from a farm and the main reason is is that farm fresh eggs the chickens are out uh, walking around outside uh, you know in the open air and they get bugs and because they eat bugs they get a lot of bug type protein and that kind of protein really changes the flavor of the eggs the, now the chickens that you uh, get the eggs from that come through the store, uh, they don't ever see things like that. They they just eat uh, grain, they eat feed, they eat corn, they eat stuff like that, and that's all they eat. What's that, honey? Grass also does change. Yeah, eating grass helps too, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but I think it's mainly the bugs. I think because there's other. Uh, open range or free range or cage free or whatever you want to call chickens that are out there who do get on some grass and you look at the yolks and even those are kind of pale yolks we've tried it I mean, we've paid the six dollars a dozen at the store for the the you know cage free birds and the and all that stuff we, we bought all those eggs to try them out and we've cracked them open looked at them a uh, very pale yolk and a pale yolk is uh, a less flavor for full yolk but if you get a good source of eggs from a, a local farmer and those chickens are out on the grass and they're eating bugs and they're getting different types of protein and you know uh, chickens are omnivores they, they eat uh, you know vegetables and meat you know they'll eat all of it uh, if they like it so it just changes the flavor it changes the color of the yolk it changes the flavor uh, and also, uh, it's been tested that the farm fresh eggs that have the darker yolks and and, and raised out on the on the pasture, out on the grass, and, and eating bugs, uh, those eggs have been tested and found to be more nutritious, more nutritious than the eggs you get at the store. So it's really well worth it. So I'd encourage anyone uh, to go out and get some eggs if you're not growing them. Get them. Uh, do we have the key fob? Oh, it's right here in my pocket. Key fob. We've been getting a lot of rain, and uh, I really need to cut the grass. I meant to cut cut the grass uh, yesterday, 
uh, but I've been trying so hard to get caught up on these videos I haven't gotten to cutting the grass so I may have to try to do that today uh, and get it all done here and plus of course I've also got to cut grass at the other place also we are at the post office picking up our eggs now <laughs> that sounds funny uh, when you're from small communities it's not that unheard of uh, our uh, chicken farmer is also a postal worker so uh, it's just uh, uh, where we're able to to get everything and now my wife is coming out with the eggs Not sure how well this shows up on camera, but there is a storm rolling in. So, not going to be able to cut the grass again today. But eventually, I will get it. It's it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and wait until I get a nice sunny day, and then I'll get the grass mowed. All right, let's take a look at these eggs. Oh, look at those! Nice farm fresh eggs. Now this one, that one's interesting. It's got some speckling on there. That's another thing too is I used to think this, and I think there are some people who still think this today, but I used to believe that, you know, the brown eggs, I used to think the brown eggs tasted better than the white eggs, right? And uh, really, the color of the shell has nothing to do with the flavor of the egg. And, you know, maybe what it was, is growing up as a child, maybe what I was thinking is that these brown eggs, which were actually farm fresh eggs whenever I was growing up, uh, you'd never see these in a store back then, right? If you saw a brown egg, it was farm fresh. So when I was growing up, and I see a brown egg, and I'd, I'd eat it, and it did taste better. Because the white eggs I was eating came from the store. So the difference wasn't in the color of the shell. It was the fact that the brown eggs I was eating were farm fresh and the white eggs I was eating was coming from the store. That was actually the difference. So that's probably what caused me to believe that brown eggs taste better. Uh, but really what it is, it's the farm fresh eggs that taste better. The rain just started to fall. We just got in time uh, for the rain to stop. And, uh, you know, uh, anything you can do to kind of increase your uh, uh, homesteading. And sometimes homesteading doesn't, doesn't begin with putting your first plants in the ground. Uh, it doesn't begin with buying your first uh, set of chickens or buying rabbits or uh, having your own property even. Um, you know, homesteading just begins with different choices that you make, you know. Uh, you can begin by buying eggs from farmers, getting raw, unpasteurized milk from farmers, uh, you know, doing little things like this. And we, we buy our milk from a, a farmer that's actually pretty far away. Uh, it's, it's actually hard to find uh, a good source of uh, raw, unpasteurized milk these days because all the laws and regulations that they put on there and... and uh, you know, to take away our freedoms to, to live the way we want to live. Um, anyway, that's another discussion. But uh, you can do these things. And, uh, you know, we have to drive all the way into town. It's 45-minute drive there, 45-minute drive back just to get our milk. And we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Uh, so if you get uh, farm-fresh milk, farm-fresh eggs. You can go to farmer's markets and get farm-fresh uh, vegetables and things like that. Uh, and talk with the farmers, uh, find out what they use to grow with, uh, if, if they grow uh, all natural or whether or not they use conventional uh, means of pesticides and herbicides and all that stuff. Um, you know, find out what, what goes into growing their food. And then, you know, that way you know that, you know, if you get food, 
uh, from the right person, and they're growing it all naturally, um, you're going to have a good quality food, you know. So you can do these things. And by helping to support these farmers, uh, you know, you're helping them uh, to continue doing what they're doing. And then who knows, you know, uh, things could turn out in your life and you can make plans and you can do things to where you could end up buying a piece of land or you could end up uh, growing some vegetables or uh, growing some uh, uh, raising animals and things like that. Uh, but, you know, just don't don't let these barriers stop you. I mean, uh, homesteading, uh, there's no clear definition for it, really. Uh, this is whatever level you're able to do, whatever level you're able to do. And you might start off small and then build on that and then build on that and then build on that. And next thing you know, uh, you're homesteading full time. So uh, just, you know, don't let these things stop you. Just take each small thing as you can take it. Uh, buy eggs, buy milk, uh, you can probably even find duck eggs. I mean, everybody's got different uh, sources around them. Find out what's at your disposal. Find out what your resource actually is and uh, try your best not to uh, rely upon the grocery store uh, quite as much.